So McDonald's recently introduced a new policy which is supposed to get rid of the use of antibiotics in their chicken. But what's really going on here is just another corporate PR whitewashing mess. Let's talk about it. All right, antibiotic resistant bacteria have become a massive health problem. We've talked about this here on The Fowler Show with you. It's killed thousands of people every year and is prompting calls to phase out the unnecessary use of drugs on farm animals and people. Now listen, no one is saying that you shouldn't use antibiotics when people are sick. No one's saying that you shouldn't use them when animals are sick. But the big no-no here is farmers all across the United States and all across the world are using these antibiotics at a baseline level to allow them to live in these terrible conditions and so they hopefully fatten up a little faster and get bigger so they can sell them quicker. All right, so McDonald's announced today that it will stop buying chicken that has been reared on antibiotics meant for humans within the last two years. Now let's talk about why this is a sham. Okay, check it out. This is a big deal. Now, while McDonald's is the largest restaurant chain in the United States and 80% of the antibiotics in America are used on farms, this could make a bigger impact, but it does not go far enough. Problem number one, it's still going to allow chicken suppliers to use something called ionophores, which are antibiotics that are added to animal feed to accelerate growth. First problem. Now let's talk about some of the other problems. Number two, this policy, only applies to United States restaurants. Now McDonald's has tens of thousands of global restaurants which will not be requiring any changes in the way that they deal with their meat. Now why is this such a big deal? If McDonald's actually cared about its consumer's health, they would care about their consumer's health all around the world. Clearly there's just been enough pressure that that's the only reason that they're changing. Problem three, the antibiotics restriction only applies to chicken. Now the vast majority of McDonald's menu is not chicken, it's beef. And their beef is still antibiotic laden, not really making that big of an impact. And finally, maybe most importantly, this new policy will not guarantee that all chicken is antibiotic free, right? The company can still purchase birds from suppliers who use these ionophores, the antibiotic that is not used in humans, whose overuse could potentially have a huge impact on human health. Tis Tis McDonald's, we know what you're up to here at The Fowler Show. Share this video on Facebook, let them know what's going on, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.